I never have to use it, but something tells me I will. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Now get out! 
At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. You said you know someone who can help me with my... problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Reed. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. That's an eye-catching suit. Thank you, Mr. Reed. A mere flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. I take it you're a big fan of yellow. Well, I have a particular weakness for it. Call it a personal quirk. Tell me about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks. And the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to... <laughs> stand out from the crowd. Can you tell me a little about Mr. Throgmorton? A remarkable creature. Scion of a robust bloodline. A philanthropist, a scholar and the patron of the famous Oakmont University. A man of great ambitions and even greater ego. Do not make him wait. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fear not. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds... charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot, or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia, gathering seeds of thought like moths drawn to a flame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper, Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular, its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. Well, that's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you.
Hey, knock it off! is nigh. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is sowed. I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep-sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart. The best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now, those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just... refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. I've heard you're the man to speak to about... visions. Outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. Hmm. Yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing and no one in this Innsmouth or ridden city will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. Please forgive the question, but... I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. Find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera. You have a point, newcomer. Sorry, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect. 
outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Tane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house, and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. You mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Where's your Oberon, huh, Titania? This helmet gives me chills. What's wrong with it? Can't catch a mackerel since those Innsmouthers took over the fishing business. We like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays.
end is nigh. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is so. I've said everything I know. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. Mr. Throgmorton, I found this in the lifeboat. Looks like it's your son's will. Give it to me. Oh, my boy, what did you get yourself into? If only I hadn't sent you on that cursed expedition. Bye. Dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. Hello? Ah. Uh, oh, my head. What? what? It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throg. Oh. I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and Okay, my head began to burst, and he woke up, and after that, I don't remember a thing, just... Hmm. Tell me about you. Uh, name's Will, Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, we moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so... Where are all the other... Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. K be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton, and I have no idea where Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Do you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pull... Who is this? Outsider, show some respect. K is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I... I'll leave you to it. Please, detective, sir, tell me... I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out.
Choo choo. <clears throat> I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. like this before. Master for work. So, that's what an inn's mouther looks like. So, that's what an inn's mouther looks like. Take this, ape face. <laughs> Run! Okay, let's see what we have here. Yeah, run! I've said everything I know. I gave you clear instructions, did I not? It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this.
What's happening? Take this, ape face. <laughs> yeah, run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Fisherman pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. Even though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. The 
door won't budge. No accident. This was deliberate. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. The port is closed by order of Robert Frog. Familiar, but old Billy hasn't seen you around. Come, come closer, troubled soul. Let me tell you what your future holds. You're some kind of uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear. Really? Not so fast, newcomer. All right, how- <gasps> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the- And I'll make it easier. Let's hear what my future holds. Good. The sea will be generous in the com- I don't think I fall. I see old and new. A hard heart again- And- And tall pillars. Circled by the dead. A- Thank you. You are well. Stay alert! Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? I've seen some unsettling creatures around like nothing i've ever eaten <laughs> so you met a wild beast newcomer they arrived in the flood some say they come from the sea uh, if it bleeds you can kill it keep your gun handy and if you want to erase the memory remember better to be a coward and live than i'm looking for a man by the name yeah even if i knew As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is, 
I found your note near the dead body of Albert. Th so, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. Throck. That would explain the blood. F so, he's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise to deal with him once and for all. Smart man. Bye. Ugh, I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this Embrace darn your fate. Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Ugh. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. Start at the beginning. What happened? We, we... We were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Barry'd gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape... He was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. What kind of... Uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry, I... Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the she. You're gonna see a lot of us here. You shot to kill. No warning, no... I... Well, I can't remember it. When he and me uh, covered in blood, I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always sitting... You mentioned a grand... <laughs> so you're a newcomer, huh? Yeah. A newcomer with a gun. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head hunters of Oakmont are called the Grand. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with in- And let me get- Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head? A hidden body? One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reeve. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. 
This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. You think you're the first person to offer me a bribe? Please, Mr. Reed. Now, don't try my patience further, Mr. Flynn. Please, I told you the truth, I swear. Mr. Throgmorton, uh, I've been... What? Some uh, unusual creature. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. I've commissioned a few studies on them, but we know little... Yeah. Try to avoid them when possible. Mr. Throgmorton? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry. No. I've tracked down your... Where? I tracked the murderer down, but he was attacked by those things prowling the back alleys. And they tore him apart. It was that Innsmouther fisherman, Lewis. He was covered in your son's blood. That may have attracted the beasts. Are you certain the body is his? Beyond any doubt. All that's left of him is a heap of flesh and this scrap of cloth. It's from his jacket. Just ask his friends. Alas. This was my revenge to exact, not some wild beasts. Something must be done about those pests. Still, justice has been served. This isn't closure, but at least I know now the story. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton. Yes, you've earned it. Kate, to think about I digress. I... I think I'm going mad. I was drawn here, or... You're not wrong, Mr. Reed. And I funded an expedition to explore... A geological exp... I have reason to believe the Flood and this madness of the same source. You mentioned the Flood. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened? Do these cases of hysteria... Since the Flood, many Oakmonters have had similar nightmares. Indeed. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. No words exactly. As your expedition? I do not know. Albert is... You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered... Is it so hard to believe? I... It does sound... Mr. Reed, I want you to fight... If I'm going to look into this... I'll give you the address of the ex... That's all. Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throgmorton. I am a busy man. If when you finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family. What about my... They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. I'll also include a ferret. Uh. The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood. Oakmont returned to bartering. Mm -hmm. 